Hello everyone and welcome back to CLGTR channel. So in my last video is a speed painting about BTF fish or tail or tay tay or tiger or whatever he is. Uh, okay, uh, it's about him. And uh, when you see my uh, speed pen videos, so you guys are asking me about the tutorial how to make uh, how to pen the the uh, glass cup as on the screen right now. Uh, you guys might thinking it's really really extremely hard, but actually it's really easy. Uh, first things that you must have the light art of the cup like this one. So I already copy from uh, the same thing, so you can easily follow the example here. That I copy the cup here to there, and then I rotate a little bit, so you can easily to uh, see the picture. And the next things that is really really important when you draw this one that you must have the background. It's not really necessary to have a. Uh, detail background just a simple color just the same as this one that have the green here but you must have the background why because the background here okay I create a new layer this one layer 2 is the layer art, and layer 1 will gotta be a background color and I feel it, the color around here the uh, things that why you must have the background color and background things because you know that glass is a transparent material so that's why it's only receive and reflect the, uh, the light the light source uh, from environment and sometimes it's maybe uh, cast some image from the environment okay you must have to understand that so now I will create a new layer that's a layer 3 and drag it between the layer 2 and layer 1, the outline and the background color. Now I will work on the layer 3 here. I will choose the white color and airbrush. The airbrush here with the opacity I decrease around 50% here and I will increase the brush as big as can and then I will drag it slightly from the top to the bottom like this one okay that's it so uh, depend on the self of uh, your cup or your things your object you will uh, follow it to make it look more real like the cup here is will be curved at the end like this one so drag it with the curve around here here too and here too okay the next things that you must remember about the light source so the light source is around here to come from so there must be a strong light look around here that's it so fix it a little bit here you maybe want to change the brush size a lot I always do it frequently when I think that brush uh, size will fit to what I want to do here and the shadow will be around here so that's why there is not much light around here okay next I will decrease the sign here to have the strong white look for this one and because the light source is around here so uh, near the outline here I will draw the white color here so it will give you a feeling like it reflect a lot of light here that's it same for this part here okay and here too because it's transparent but you actually you can find some fueling from the back of the cup around here now decrease the sign and draw around this part for some reflect of the strong light that's it 
That's it. And the final touch that you will erase some part that is not necessary, and uh, you will erase some part to make it have a sharp edge look. You see that it's not always blurry will be the best thing, but you will have the sharp looking here to make it look more real. So I will choose the transparent box in here with the airbrush in here, and I increase the size of the airbrush uh, enough. I certify and drag it like this one, two, you three. Erase some part and take that. Okay, like this. Perfect. And around here to make it sure, make sure it will look transparent. Yeah, this part to. Like you put in the final detail for this one to make it look better. Fix that with some white here again. And delete from outside to make it look more neat. Then you're done. The cup made from a glass. Yeah, that's it. And with this one, I go back to here. Yeah, so you can see that based on the thing that you want it to look and where's the light source come from, I will turn this one off. You see, just simply with the white color in here, that I make you have a feeling that this cup is made from a glass. So that's it about this tutorial. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.